H1 is a ultra rare disease, which means that uh, it, there's not that many patients um, across the world who have it. It's an inherited disease. So the patients who get it have one disease allele from each parent, and that's what causes the disease in the patient. So the most likely family members to be affected are that patient's siblings rather than their parents or grandparents. The patients typically present with kidney problems. So either kidney stones, decreased kidney function, or nephrocalcinosis, which is the calcium depositing in the kidney tissue. That can be seen on a routine ultrasound. So some examples, um, a baby has a urinary tract infection, and one of the workups for that is to look at the kidneys and make sure the kidneys are healthy, and they can see that deposition of calcium in the kidney. And that leads them down the path to diagnosis to a disease like PH1. Once the patients get more advanced disease and they lose renal function, they can't excrete the oxalate out of the kidneys any longer, and it starts depositing in the tissues in the body. This is a condition called systemic oxalosis, and the calcium oxalate can deposit in the bones, in the heart, in the eyes, in the nerves, in many different body tissues, and that's what leads to the morbidity in the advanced cases of this disease. Once they reach advanced disease, they require dialysis more often than most patients with kidney failure. So these patients are typically treated with six day a week hemodialysis sessions, four hours at a time. And some of the patients even have peritoneal dialysis on top of their hemodialysis. So it's a very intense treatment regimen.